Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube, and this is Ravenous Devils. I don't know why I felt the need to say it like that, but I feel like if this game had an in-game title announcer, it would be Ravenous Devils. <laughs> this game was recommended to me by Pierce Spell7244. Said that this game would be perfect fit for the channel. From what I've seen, it is about running a shop where you bring people in and kind of like butter them up a little bit and then you kill them and serve them as food. I barely slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. Clear your My throat. My children and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We've decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right and earn as much money as we can. So, you know, I, I'm not a genius or anything, but I think those might be our ravenous devils. We're running out of meat fast. Oh wait, hold on. Let me read it in her voice. The place, the people in this town are like hungry dogs. At least this means that moving the here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. I gotta, I gotta tap into my inner Batman. I gotta get that vengeance. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we are risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. All right, let's grab this poor wretch. Sooner or later, I'm going to end up breaking my back. Now I need to throw the corpse through the trap door. It'll be the kitchen and it'll be in the kitchen in no time. Damn. Strong ass man. Bloop. I also just realized when you click on things, blood splatters. Damn! Finally, fresh meat. The trap door is working brilliantly. It's time to stock up on some minced meat. The new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. Hey, look at that, that was blood splatter. Now it's time to grind. It is grind, grind 2020 more. How does she know? Let's grab the co- Oh, I said that already. Wait, did she set it down? I should clean this from time to time. Mm -hmm. ah! 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 I should take a look at my grandma's recipe book. I'll also be able to add all my new- All my future recipes to it. Family tradition? Question mark? <laughs> Does your grandma do this as well? Well, I need flour and minced meat to make a delicious meat pie. Uh, meat pie. Meat pie. 
I don't think meat and pie should be in the same sentence together. I can already smell it cooking. Flour. Let's take one of these ingredients. Now the other one. How hectic is this game gonna get? Because I, I don't know if break, I, I don't know if brain big enough. All set for cooking. Let me take the tray and put it in the oven. It's already hot. When do you when do you have time to preheat that? From my understanding, we just got here. We just started our day. An oven takes at least 10 minutes to preheat, depending on what it is you're preheating to. By making some changes, I could cook faster. Or we could fix these other two ovens, though we need more money for that. We'll work that out later. The meat pies are looking golden brown. Time to take them out. I, um, take a look upstairs. The display stand is empty, so I'll place these meat pies on there. This way, customers will be able to serve themselves. Oh, we're like a... We're like a... Uh, not an Olive Garden. Uh, a Golden Corral? All you can eat? Let's fill it. Okay. Damn! Okay! Um... Where are the tables? Are these tables? This does not look comfortable. All right, we're all set up. I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean up that mess on the floor. Husband! It's a blood. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up or else Joker's gonna get me. No one can come up here until there's no blood left on the floor. Let's get the mop to clean this up. For vengeance. That is the fastest mop job I have ever seen. I'm just saying. I've mopped the floors before. I wish it took that fast. I wish it was that quick. I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin in the exposition isn't dressed. I could patch up some of the stolen clothes and resell them for vengeance. At a steep price, of course. Because I'm Bruce Wayne. Waste not, want not. This may be a humble shop, but I'm a professional. I'm also Batman. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Back to business. Let's take a stolen cloth from that pile. Oh. Now it's time to give this new sewing machine a whirl. It's not going very fast, but I can wait. Coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. I should adjust the timing of my work according to Hildred's needs. The clothes are finally ready. Let's put them on the mannequin. For Gotham! I like this color. <laughs> Yo, who's this man's voice actor? Give him a raise! Everything seems to be set ready. Now we can welcome our customers. Are you sure we're ready? Is this all it takes? I'm sure it's gonna get far more hectic than this, but you know what? I'm that one dude, Chris, from YouTube. I think I can handle a couple of guests. My dear customers, please come inside. Take what you desire. It's lucky that I filled the display stand, otherwise they'd be waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They will pay a little, a lot for my delicious meals. Oh, it seems like someone is, is looking for a new outfit. You never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind and do the best you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. Oh wow, look at this! It's almost as if my grandson used to wear this. I had an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. I'm certainly not gonna kill you or anything. I just want to take your measurements. Everything should be fine. I promise we are a locally accepted shop, both clothing and food. Now we are alone, and I can provide Hildred with some more meat. Ah! I'm so sorry! I'm not sorry! But I need to do this so that I can feed my family! I'll take these clothes. You won't be needing them anymore. Let's throw the corpse down to the kitchen. 
Ah! That was too easy. That was way too easy. Did you see how he just yanked my man's clothes off? Like it was nothing. Then again, he is probably carrying like a 205 pound grown man on his shoulders. So I wouldn't be too surprised if he had superhuman strength. More clients are ready. We must be ready. Or coming. We must be ready. I always have to remind myself to clean up. I'm confident that Hildred is doing a great job. Coordination is key. Clients killed, blood cleared, clothes sold, meals cooked. Okay. So can I do two things at once? Like with two different people? So if I switch down here, Mildred can work on this? Or Hildred, whatever her name is? Brody. Moving there. Wait, what? Oh, I take the cloth and then, okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. This is not bad at all. Oh, shit. Wait, I'm taking her measurements. Okay. Hi, I'll be right with you. And you'll be right down in hell. Anyways, what's going on with you, Mildred? Hildred? Why do I keep wanting to call her Mildred? It's probably because I've never heard the name Hildred before. Um, place that on the table. Fuck, fuck, shit. Um, um, okay. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Because there's too much going on right now. Take the meat. Shit. Oh, this is getting hectic already, and I literally just started the game. Oh, crap, so they have a wait time. Okay. I need some meals to place here. Yeah, no, that's what I was trying to do. Gotcha, bitch. No! He just stole her clothes! Well, she's gonna get pissed. Ma'am! Ma'am! I'm so sorry for the wait. Shit. Well. There's blood everywhere. That sucked. But it's okay. This is my first time. Oh my god. And then there's people. Place the meals! What are you doing? Am I missing a step? I need some meals to place here. How do I do that? Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to place the meals. I, I don't think I'm missing anything. You literally have the meals in your hand. I didn't put it in the oven. Oh. Oh. Because of course the food has to. No. Oh. Okay. The food needs to go in the oven. Food needs to go in the oven. So I just basically walked out in front of everybody with like, with raw meat and, <laughs> and flour and expected them to eat the shit. Damn, I'm stupid. Moving there. Already, this is going significantly smoother. Things are not taking as long. And I, I'd say I'm doing the damn thing right now. I've already killed one client. I've cleaned blood two times, sold cloth. Okay. Okay. Not doing too bad. I can see how this game could get super stressful, but okay. Yeah. I think I know what I got to do. There's also already meat in the tray, or there's already meat in the grinder, so it's not going to be like I have to always take the food and uh, make it or whatever. Ah! Nice to meet you. Sorry to see you go. But we appreciate your patronage. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate your services. Be sure to clean that. And then take that up here. Is this guy's waiting? 
Okay! Get some cloth ready. Yes, sir! Uh, dude, the food's on the- the food is sitting out. Yeah, I was about to say, what are you doing? It's really warm. It's really warm. <laughs> I wonder why it's so warm. I, I genuinely wonder why it's so warm, but you know what? I, I don't know. No need to question, I guess. There's blood everywhere. We're about to sell, uh, sell our last piece of meat, so we should be good for the day. Woo! Starting over is never easy. It is when you know what you're doing. <laughs> there are a lot of improvements that need to be... Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta read it in her voice. There are a lot of improvements that need to be made. I wrote this list of things we need to do to improve our business. This way, we will serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. <clears throat> Hold to unlock? Wait, it's priced at 50. Hold to unlock? What do you mean unlock? Yeah, I was about to say I owned it already. Um, that price is 60. Mail? Ports, skins. Oh, no clue what any of this. Is. Let's buy some sausage since that's the only thing that I can buy. Question mark. Oh, you want me to touch up on the? Okay, okay. You don't want me to buy stuff. You want me to upgrade things. Unlocks an additional workbench. The temperature is getting hotter. Oven speed. That could be useful. Meat grinder. Oh, there's a lot of upgrades here. And I don't have a whole lot of money. Uh, I'd say sewing speed is probably something that I'd want to upgrade. Yep, and then that's all I can upgrade. So, cool. Before we open the shop, let's go ahead and prepare for the next day. Because we are not ready in the slightest. Oh, wait, 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 I don't need that. I mean, I guess I'll still take it, but I don't really need it. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I mean, the actions that we are taking are very not okay. <laughs> but as far as gameplay mechanics go, oh, shit, that's fast. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to I'll put that back. I'm going to prepare two of everything so that it'll be ready by the time it runs out. So I'm gonna go ahead, there's already clothes on the mannequin, but I'm gonna go ahead and sew some more cloth so that when that mannequin is sold, I can then just take the cloth that's set here and put it on the mannequin. Nice. So he's set up here. Hildred is set on the food placed on the trays, but I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, make another, another platter. Does food go bad? So if I were to leave it in the oven, we're going to find out. We're going to we're going to test some stuff out. So go ahead and take that, place that in the oven and then while I wait for that, as fast as I can. I grab that. Oh, there's no tr Oh. Okay, so you really can't just Okay. All right. We're all set then. We can open the store. Come one, come all. <laughs> we, uh, we're a very humble family. And we like to bring anybody and everybody into our shop. There's lovely people that we love to eat. Sir, are you looking to be fitted today? Are you looking to get measured or are you looking to die? <laughs> Perfect. There's blood everywhere. Okay, good to know that I can clean up while the body is still sitting there. That'll be helpful. And then I can take. take the, oh, wait, no, no, no. I got free hands, free hands, free hands. It's okay. Calm down, Chris. You have a system going on. Everything's going to be chill. I can very much do this. This is not a grueling task at all. It's a gruesome task, but not a grueling one. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Do you understand the joke? Last clients! Woo!
Last clients? Oh, oh, last clients are coming in. Okay. Okay. So it's like a, a final call kind of thing. I'd better check today's earnings. I hope all my clients are satisfied with our work. I saw some pretty happy faces. This way, word will spread and our shop's reputation will improve. That alone is enough, though. That alone is not enough. We should probably buy some new work tools. I'm sure even well-known people will visit our shops then. Hell yeah! Reputation points for uh, 240. Good orders, mixed orders, bad orders. Okay! Nobody had anything bad to say. I know I should probably be saving my money, but I want to upgrade stuff as much as possible. In the greenhouse? There's a greenhouse? <laughs> There's gonna be a greenhouse? Oh my goodness. Oven speed. I wanted to upgrade the oven speed too. Nice. Okay. Alright. Let's move on to the next day. Or actually, let's prepare ourselves first. Yeah, this is not bad. I'm enjoying this. I'm definitely fucking with the gameplay. But let's, say, let's see how fast the oven moves now. Eh. Still kind of slow. We are now set and ready to open the store. So let's do it. A letter just arrived. We moved here not long ago. No one should know us. Who may have sent this? Did you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Let me read. <laughs> Silence, wench. <laughs> That's not funny. God. Someone knows our secret. Uh-oh. What does it say? Nothing good. Just threats. Apparently the sender knows us really well. Hmm, we have an admirer. We can't leave again. We spent everything we had on this building. I don't think, I don't like this situation either. But I don't think he means trouble. Rather, vengeance. He could be a rich client. He talks about a reward. I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just trust that. We haven't much choice. So, what do we do? Now, nothing. We just play his game. He'll get back to us. If that's what's written, if what's written in this letter is true. <clears throat> we could risk our lives by leaving. He seems to be a powerful man in the city. Well then, let's hope we'll get some money out of this. Never a dull day for us. I'll get back to work. Me too. <clears throat> you taste like death. My esteemed Rhodes, I must admit that your arrival in the city has got me pretty excited. And please, I beg of you not to interpret these words as a threat, but merely as a great opportunity. So let me let me just say, Hildred thought that this was a threat, even though the letter explicitly says, I beg you not to interpret these words as a threat. I get that in this kind of business, you should be weary of everything you see and hear. But if somebody is actively telling you, hey, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to help you succeed, then I don't know. I don't think people would be as accepting of a career like this if they knew what you were doing. I do often wonder, how do you manage all those corpses? In any case, I decided to contact you to ask for a favor. But before I do that, I would like to assure you, your secret is safe with me. See, how is anybody... This letter is specifically saying, whatever, I'm not even gonna, Hildred will be Hildred, Hildred be Hildreden. I have been eating human flesh for a long time. I am sure you will not find what I say as shocking as others might. Though, oh, I'm, yeah, okay, whatever. We all know that I have a <laughs> time. You cannot even imagine how difficult it has been for me to get my fill. From now on, however, with you around, I trust things will be easier for me. I will give you specific instructions for the prey that I would like to savor. After all, I will not just settle for the average launderer. Once the targets have been killed, you will prepare a delicious banquet for me. I will be, it will be perfect. When your job is done, a life-changing reward will await you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching your every move and will know where you are at all times. Moreover, I suppose the local police force would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the unexplained disappearances in town. I will send you details of the first target soon. Kind regards. Your new friend, Jay. Jay stands for Jizz. Wait a minute. Damn, there's a lot of people coming to the coming to the restaurant. 
They are taking my food! I'm being robbed right now! Oh, they're coming to get food faster than I can produce it, which is kind of a problem. But it's a good thing I upgraded my cooking speed, even though it doesn't really feel like much. Don't come back here. Nothing's happening back here. Oh my goodness. People are coming in to buy food so quickly. I mean, I guess this is what we wanted. We wanted, we wanted our reputation to grow and our popularity or whatever. But this is like really, this is, everything's moving so fast. It's really warm. Our last clients are coming through though, so we should be fine. We're all set for the day. We made 30 pounds. 30 pounds and 5 cents. I'm going to call it cents because I don't know what the equivalent is. I see you're my last guest to die today. Ah! My entire career was riding on you, lady. Nice. 300 reputation. Oh, we had one mix, two mixed orders. I think it was because of how long we made them wait. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta wait. Sometimes things are just worth waiting for. Ooh, unlocks an additional oven. That's 40 though. Meat grinder. Produces more minced meat. At the moment, I'm fine with meat. I can add another mannequin. It's additional pieces of cloth. That could be useful, because I feel like more people are going to start coming in a lot faster for... Oh, Damn! It's really tough, because I don't know what I want to upgrade first. I should probably focus on the ones that can only be upgraded once. Because after that, it's like, you know... There's nothing else to upgrade, so... I'm going to upgrade the stolen clothes. Yeah! All right, prepare myself for the next day. I'm enjoying this game. I'm very much enjoying it. Woo. All right, <clears throat> this time around, I had 14 good reviews, no mixed or bad reviews. We got more mail. I'm going to do some upgrading real quick, though. I feel like right now we should get a new workbench. That would come in a lot of handy. All right, what's this mail say? Dear Rhodes, Elliot Carson is your first target. He is a young and greatly committed businessman. It is impossible not to be thrilled by the stories of his travels. He wanders around the city in his free time talking to everyone, even those filth-covered country loots. He has no objection to frequently even frequenting even the most infamous establishments as he believes that there is always something new to learn, even in such places. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man. Anyway, all of this will work to our advantage, and, in fact, it should not be too much of a challenge to lure him into your hovel. Sorry, no offense, <laughs> I am sure you have plenty of time to disperse the place up. What are you talking about? This is a lovely establishment, alright? We put our heart, soul, blood, sweat, other people's blood, other people's hearts, into this establishment. Fuck off! Mr. Carson is a very charismatic person and an eloquent speaker. I've had the pleasure of having him as my guest at some of the most famous parties. He is a good looking man. You will recognize him for sure. His eyes are like two blue magnet spheres that simply drive me crazy. Okay, calm down, buddy. And just the right size to eat in one bite. Kill him and preserve the body. I look forward to this immensely. How do I preserve the body. <clears throat> oh shit, look at, look, at look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. I can now make two plates. Oh, that's gonna come in such hand. Oh, ow! Oh. oh yeah, this is working out. If you strategize it right, you will definitely have so much success playing this game. All right, I'm gonna do one more day and then I'm gonna call it a video. But I am very much enjoying this, so I'm going to have to pick this up because I this is story mode. There is something called endless mode, but I'm playing on story mode right now. So clearly there is an ending to this and I'm going to find it regardless of how busy the restaurant gets, because you know what? I believe in myself. I believe that I can be a ravenous devil. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Come again.
<laughs> Little do these people know that I'm feeding them their own families. I think, depending on how much money I make this time around, I am going to buy a second mannequin. <clears throat> Hildred should get rid of the corpses in the kitchen before- Oh, Hildred! Yeah, I suppose that could also be... Should clean this from time to time. I suppose that could also hinder my time. Oh shit. Damn it. <clears throat> so what happens if somebody comes in here while I'm getting rid of a body? Or cleaning up a mess? Do we get shut down? How does that work? Damn it, I need to clear these bodies. This, these are sentences that I never thought I was going to say in my life. I, I never thought I was going to utter the words, I need to clear these bodies. Okay. But everything is going pretty smoothly. The days don't take as long. So it's like, yeah, it could get super quick and super tedious. But I think I have some sufficient ways to, to keep it moving and keep myself pretty well grounded. Moving there. Don't come back here. You want to buy the clothes, not get fitted. Oh, come on. Last clients. Last clients. Come on. This is so stressful. And I literally just started the game. At least I feel like I just started. Damn. But that should have been our last guest. Our last client. Customer. Whatever. Are we done? All set. Yes! Uh-oh, what's happening? What's this? Oh, that's our guy! That's our guy! He's kind of tall. No way he's taller than me, though. Uh-oh. Wait, who's a little... Who's the pipsqueak? Good day, Mr. Percival. I am Elliot Carson. Your shop is making the news in this city. People say that it's impossible to find such high quality clothes elsewhere. Some acquaintances of mine came by recently to tell me that I should pay a visit. I didn't know a tailor had opened here. The clothes are displayed like, the clothes on display look exquisite. But I suggest you clean this place a little. By the way, I'm going to commission a suit before I depart for my next trip. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. It would be my pleasure to tailor something for you. <coughs> what kind of suit are you looking after? Are you at, uh, after? Yeah. Is it for you or the boy? I will need, oh, I will need to measure measurements first. For me, of course. I need a very durable suit for hunting. He's just my assistant. You may pretend as if he is not here. That's crazy, because he's black. That's wild. And if he bothers you, I can kick him out. Am I right, boy? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm a brick wall, mister. Just the way I like it. Anyway, I'm passing through to take a look at your humble shop. I'm leaving now, as I have plans for today, Mr. Percival. But I will return again in the near future, if you don't mind. Of course not. Feel free to come back whenever you like. Just not at night. That's when I go out to do my Batmaning. Thank you for coming. See you again soon, Mr. Elliot. Much obliged. See you soon. Come on, you loafer. We're leaving. Say goodbye to Mr. Percival. Goodbye. Damn. Damn. He must be our target. The sender of those letters isn't joking. Next time I will have some work to do. All right. Okay. I think this is a pretty good place to stop. Hold on, let me upgrade. What the fuck's going on here? So I'm debating between a new mannequin and a new display for food. Because people have been running in to grab food a lot faster than they have been uh, with clothes. 
And with the system that I have as far as the clothes go, I've been able to keep the cloth sewn so that I can then replace whatever somebody has come in to take. So I'm thinking a new display. I know I said I was going to buy another mannequin, but I'm thinking a new display would be a lot much of a smarter choice. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. Perfect. And then I'm going to set myself up for success for the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the food on the new displays. Bop. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Look at that. Nice. Two displays should really help now. Because my food situation was getting dire. People were coming. People were rushing in. Threes. They were rushing in in threes. I very much did enjoy this. I'm going to have to come back to this. I don't even know what to say. Like shop simulator games and like games where you can upgrade stuff the longer you play. Those are my kind of games. I. That's all I'm going to say about this. Thank you, Pierce Spell, for suggesting this game. If any of you have any more suggestions of games that you think I should play, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. And if you want to see my last video, it was a game called Remothered Tormented Fathers. Go ahead and check that out. It'll be linked somewhere around here. And then I'll let YouTube recommend whatever you guys watch next, which will also be linked somewhere around here as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Revengeance.